when do we need a bill of exchange why is a bill of exchange so commonly used so widely used so popular first and foremost it facilitates credit transactions like in our example x has sold goods to y y may be a new customer or x may not be very sure whether he will get his payment after 3 months but with a bill of exchange both x and y are happy because y can use the credit and x is assured of his payment so a lot of credit transactions take place where payment is made through a bill of exchange this becomes proof the bill of exchange is proof is evidence of the debt that of the fact that y owes x money it is a legal document it can always be presented if required if dishonored if payment is not made one can go to court to collect the money the other great benefit of a bill of exchange is that it can be used to raise cash now once x has sold goods to y on 1st january and y wants goods on credit but x needs the cash bill of exchange again is an instrument to keep both happy a bill of exchange is drawn by x accepted by y y is happy because for 3 months he does not have to pay this money he is sure that by the end of 3 months he would be able to pay x this money now x has got a document a piece of paper which says that he will get this money from y after 3 months X can take this bill to the bank and tell the bankers that he needs money now. The bank can collect this money after three months. This is a process of discounting the bill. The bank will pay X an amount of twenty thousand less discount. Let us say the bank charges a discount of twelve percent per annum. in that case an amount of rupees 600 would be reduced and an amount of 19400 would be handed over to x this 600 are the discount charges or the interest charges for the credit for the for the money that he is getting up front 3 months before negotiable instrument a bill of exchange is a negotiable instrument what is a negotiable instrument the instrument can be transferred now x has sold goods to y x has made a bill of exchange y has accepted the bill of exchange so x has proof that y owes rupees 20000 to x payable after 3 months now suppose x owes money to z x can transfer this bill to z he signs behind he endorses the term used is endorsing a bill to another person so he signs transfers it saying payable to z signs behind the bill of exchange and thus transfers the bill to z on the date of maturity z may present z will present the bill to y and y will make payment to z thus with this one document credit transactions are facilitated it is a proof of it is an acknowledgement of a debt it can be used to raise short term finance because it can be discounted with the bank it is a negotiable instrument and therefore can be transferred to another person it is governed by the ni act 